Welcome to High Stakes Poker, I'm AJ Benza. Every night somewhere out there, maybe at a poker room in Las Vegas or a private house in London or New York, there's a high stakes poker game being played. It's not easy to find out where it is because you gotta be invited. And that means you're either one of the richest players in the world or one of the best. You're gonna get an exclusive look into this world tonight where pros and amateurs put up at least $100,000 of their own money to play and some put up a cool million. And that kind of action makes for a lot of drama. And that's High Stakes Poker. I'm joined by my co-host and poker expert, Gabe Kaplan. Now, Gabe, we're going to see some of the best, toughest poker plays in the world out there tonight, aren't we? That's right, AJ. A lot of these players we've already seen in the tournaments, but very few of the tournament players play in this level of cash game. Why, why is that? Well, in a tournament, there's a limit to what you can lose. You can only lose your buy-in. Right. Here, if you lose $50,000 in a pot, that's $50,000 <laughs> that comes right out of your pocket. Okay. Now, you might think emotions are going to run high because of that, but I don't think so. These players are consummate gamblers. They don't wear their emotions on their sleeves. Mm. I think we're going to hear a lot of stories, a lot of jokes. These people are masters of deception. Right. One thing you can be sure of, the money they're playing for is real. It's their own money. It's coming right out of their pocket. And you've never seen it before on television. This is the first time cameras have been inside this kind of cash game. All right, let's jump right into the action. And keep in mind, those are real casino chips and real bundles of cash from each player's own pocket. Now, Daniel Alai is first to act in his hand. This young gun's been making some noise in the poker circuit lately, finishing second at the Legends of Poker Tournament in 2005. He started this cash game with $200,000. Now, there are amateurs at this table as well as pros. There's Dr. Amir Nasseri. He's a Las Vegas gynecologist. He got $100,000 at stake tonight. They're among the growing group of blind poker players. Now, a lot of players are wearing dark glasses, Gabe. What's up with that? Well, they think they're necessary, but not Jerry Buzz. He's been playing poker for 50 years, got along without him. That's exactly why I folded that. You knew I was raising? Uh, I yeah. give it away. Gotta give it away. I was too anxious. Yeah. That's ah. exactly why I folded it. Yeah, I gave it away, huh? You knew I had it? No. Negrano's bluff with a 3-2 suited scares off the remaining players, so he'll win the hand and take down the pot. If he was stuck, he'd have been in. If I was stuck, I would have been raising your hand. That's right. Hand. No, I believe this. You know it. Barry Green's not hurt at all. He's in the game for $100,000. It's a legend himself, Doyle Brunson, one of the all-time poker greats, is playing with a half a million dollars tonight. That's Jennifer Harmon, considered by many to be the best woman player in the world and a veteran of cash games. She will in for $100,000. They all fall over to Ted Forrest, who limps in with a queen six suited. Ted started the game with 100 grand as well. Aliyah falls, and actions to Dr. Amir Nasiri. What's up? What are you looking at me for? He limped. I didn't do nothing. He's, uh, he's, he's up. You're he's my mentor. Play. I want to just look at you. You're winning. You're not going to play. Pick, Come on. Pick up. Uh, you're right. I shouldn't play. But you talked me into it. Okay. I might have to punish you. Yeah. I'm stuck, guys. Let's play a little faster. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm ready. Ready. for sure. I'm, I'm ready. Ready. I'm just bringing the best Let's in. put another white one in. Sorry. That white chip's another 5000 bucks. and the Grano's not afraid to gamble. It's all part of his bigger plan. You know, coming into this game, I'm coming in like full steam ahead. I'm going to buy in for a million, sit right down and, and, you know, basically try to let people know who's boss right off the bat by being, you know, very aggressive. If anybody's on scared money, I'm going to put the pressure on them, try to keep push, 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 um, and really sort of throw my weight around. I'm not that stuck. Oh, I knew you were going to fold. You know, I knew you were going to fold. <laughs> Seven high. So did I. I yes, you were going dead. Well, I didn't think we were bluffing. Each other. Now we're bluffing. Somebody's bluffing Barry. Uh, yeah, Daniel's just yeah, taking down right. two pots in a row. There's Sammy Farhar, big cash game player, waiting for a seat. I read it. I've never raised with two aces in first position. You liar. Irish. 
The doctor in the series raises the 3,500 bucks with an A7 suited. Jerry Buss quickly calls with pocket tens. Negrano re raises the 10,000 with the pocket kings. And this time he's got a really legitimate hand. He's bluffed two hands, and now he's woke up with a pair of kings, and the uh, doctor's going to call him here with A7 suited. The series calls. As does Buss. So we'll have three players seeing the flop. Flop comes, seven of spades, six of hearts, four of clubs. The series flops top pair with an ace kicker, but Negrano's king still leads. I think he's got that cigarette lid on the other side. The smoke's going to be coming out of his ears. He's wondering here if he should take a shot at this spot. He's got top pair and top kicker. Yeah, but just look at how the series staring down Negrano. Siri checks, as does Buss, over to the ground now. Daniel is going to bet here. He's trying to figure out what to bet. It's a kind of a scary flop, four, six, seven. One of those players might have a middle pair, a pair of sixes, a pair of sevens, a flop to set. Mm -hmm. Those are $50,000 bricks he's holding, by the way. There they go, like a hefty bag. Nice bet, Daniel. Thank you, sir. Would you like the extra oomph? I have the best hand. You do? Then you should probably put your money in. But you're too chicken. You're a winner. You'll fold. I know it. That's why I bet it. How much is that? That's 100000 sir. All wrapped and pretty. 100,000 or 200,000? Just one. It's 50 each. Mm -hmm. you, you know, all that money is like this. And a couple more. <laughs> $100,000 on a pair of sevens with an ace kicker. Will he do it? Welcome back. We're at the famous Golden Nugget Casino for more high stakes poker. Daniel Legrano was just bet $100,000 with Kings, Amir Nasiri, and Jerry Buss. Each have a pair, but will they call? All right, I'll let you have it. You must have, like, two jacks, right? I can't right? TV, I get to see this one. Huh? Two jacks? Oh, yeah, you had me crushed. I could never beat that. <laughs> There's a king right here. King right here. You can guess the other one. Or wait till you watch it on GSN, High Stakes Poker. Five, obviously. Five of hearts, obviously. High stakes poker on GSN, and that's how you'll find out. Jerry Buss, by playing those tens conservatively, saved a lot of money in that hand. Well, look at this. Negrano's luck continues this time with jacks. Twenty-two hundred. Daniel makes it to twenty-two hundred to go. Action to Barry Greenstein for the nine-six offsuit, and Greenstein re-raises ten thousand. Interesting bet, Gabe. Well, Mr. Greenstein doesn't like getting pushed around. He's saying to Daniel, "Hey, I'm a big-time poker player too. I'm going to raise you. You can't push me around. The only problem is he's picked the wrong time." Now, Negrano needs to put in another seventy-eight hundred bucks to call. Put the whole package in. Well, the whole package is a little bit more than $7,800. He's just raised and made it $1 million. <laughs> wow. The pot's over a million bucks. That's $1 million of his own money. And Barry Greenstein is forced to fold. Timing is everything in poker. Bit of million. <laughs> well, you got it, kid. You got it, you got and it. Barry is really frustrated. Daniel's uh, an exuberant player, a lot of energy. He's... Uh, proven himself to be one of the top tournament players in the world. He had a, a year in 2004 that everyone uh, was jealous of. He, he, he was player of the year at the World Series and, uh, for, and for the Card Player magazine. He's a tricky player also. Uh, Daniel's going to be hard to figure sometimes. He mixes his play up a lot and uh, I'm sure he's going to be one of the tough guys to figure out at the table. Seven each. Seven each. Well, he has played tough so far, but he also has had hands at the right time. That helps. Actions on Greenstein with uh, Jack-10 suited. 
He raises two thousand dollars. Raised to two thousand. Table falls to Negrano, who defends his big blind call with an ace nine offsuit. So it's Daniel and Barry heading to the flop again. Thank you. There's a flop, six of hearts, eight of hearts, four of diamonds. Missing both players. The Grano's ace still leads. Three. Grace Line bets three grand with just a jack high. Now, Daniel doesn't think that that flop has helped Barry. He's also got a little streak going. He just doesn't want to give the hand up. The ground will calls with nothing. Now the pot's at eleven thousand bucks as we head to the turn. Turn cards is seven of clubs. The ground still leads and has an open-ended straight draw and Greenstein a gut shot straight draw. Daniel bets ten thousand bucks. Yes, he has that open-ended straight draw and he's taking the play away. He's going to try and win this hand too, and he's again perfect timing. Greenstein falls the hand, taking another one on the chin from the grinder who rakes in $21,000. This is personal between these two guys, Gabe. Nothing personal, strictly business. Right now, uh, Daniel's in business and uh, Barry's store is closed. <laughs> Hoping to reopen soon. <laughs> and uh, Daniel's not only cashing into the table, but away from it as well. Today I'm down here to promote my video game stack with Daniel Negreanu. Um, and basically just going to play a little poker with some of the uh, qualifiers who had a chance to qualify to play against me. And we're going to play a little tournament uh, using the game. And so I'm excited. Any words of advice you can tell your opponents? Well, first of all, they're in big trouble. So I really got no, no advice other than uh, don't cry when you lose. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? All right. Ooh, there's the ace. Is that you? Did you rob it? What'd you have? Do you have anything good? Sign yours. Shut up! Hey! Oh! Good job, man. Got unlucky. You had the best hand going in. Oh well. We had 12-year-old kid there, Kyle, who won his heat to play against me in the final four, and he played really, really well. As you can see, like a lot of the people just love to play poker and it's just a great game to enjoy. And I just had some fun with a lot of the people, signed some autographs, hung out a little bit. It was, it was a fun day. It's a fun day when you draw out on the 12 year olds and here he's holding over the big guys. <laughs> if you knew we both got diamonds, you would have never been in the box. No. Oh. Bronson oh. just limps in with Big Slick, Ace King oh, offsuit. He's probably hoping somebody raises. That's true. I am going to raise. That's true. Danny, let's put we'll pressure back to you. Is this payback now? Twelve hundred. Exactly what it is. I chicken now. You did chicken out. And That's like double I think you're gonna chicken out. Yeah, <laughs> table talk heating up between Amir and Daniel. I'm, I'm gonna do you like you do me here. Daniel falls. Yeah, but Amir shouldn't have been concentrating on Daniel in this hand because uh, Doyle's got serious intentions. Oh yeah. I'm all in. Do you okay. like do me? What? He said He's all in. Half a million dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Does he have cards? Are you going crazy? On <laughs> Brunson's <laughs> dropped the hammer on the table. That's a half a million dollar bet. Yeah, no. He was waiting for a little space there to get a little quiet at the table before he did this, but everybody's talking, so he just said it. I'm all in. Half a million dollars. Yeah. That looks like a deuce. Ten deuce right there. That looks like ten deuce. He was drawing dead. No. Did you have ten deuce? No. It looks like an ace king. Ted knows exactly what I've got at all times. <laughs> I think that was a little message from Doral Brunson in. to Daniel Negrano. There's another player at this table with a lot of cash in front of him, too. It's a lot of chips for Doral Brunson to stack, but a small price to pay when the stakes are high. And the legend is warming up. It's high stakes poker at the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. You're watching the first ever televised high stakes cash game. Now, Daniel Legrano brought in for a million dollars of his own money and has been bulldozing the table relentlessly. Daniel's played a lot of hands and he'll continue that trend with an ace jack off suit, making it $2,400 to go. 
what makes me feel like I got some equity. Even. Was Barry asleep. Greenstein was victimized twice by Negrano. He's got pocket sixes and calls. Looks like Barry has given up on trying to raise Daniel before the flop. He's going to wait to see what comes out. There's a stiff ten of diamonds in the middle. Well, we'll wait to see who blinks first between Daniel Negrano and Barry Greenstein as they clash heads once again. Well, Barry's pocket sixes have a slight lead heading to the flop. <laughs> flop comes ace of heart, three of spades, six of spades. Daniel's paired his ace, but Barry's flopped a set of sixes. Dream flop for Barry here, but they both decide to slow play it. Both check. We have to check, check to the turn, which is a jack of spades. Now, Daniel's made aces and jacks, but he checks again. Barry cannot check anymore because that board is getting dangerous. Greenstein bet $3,000. Now, Daniel's going to raise here. He's got aces and jacks. That's an $11,000 raise. Big question is, what is Barry going to do? There's a possible flush out there. A flush and three aces and three jacks are the only hands that can beat Barry, but Barry's kind of snake bit here. Daniel has tossed him around quite a bit. Greenstein calls. Now the pot swells to $28,500 as we head to the river. Surprised me if Barry just called. Oh, and it's a five of spades, giving the ground with a nut flush. As I said, Barry was right just to call here because <laughs> Daniel has made the absolute best hand. Yeah. Daniel bet $6,000. He wants to get paid off. Yeah. Barry probably has no choice but to call. Yeah, and Barry will look him up. So Negranu wins the hand, taking down another pot at the expense of Barry Greenstein. And Barry sees Daniel's hand, realizes that he was like a 15 to 1 favorite on the flop. Just can't do anything today with Daniel, but he handles it with class. No crying, no moaning. Takes the beat like a gentleman. You're truly sad. Action continues as Jerry Buss remains it patient. My big blind. It's your big line, so in that case. <clears throat> Since it's your big line, I'm going to raise your big line. I'm going to make it 1,200. I think out loud. I always do, basically. And I'm just thinking about the possible hands that my opponent can have, what I put them on. But then, you know, I have to factor in the price I'm getting laid. Like, there's a lot of money in the pot. Mix it up. You know, where I come from, the price of getting laid is much less than the amount Daniel's throwing into those pots. Price he's getting laid, AJ. A little different, a little different. I knew that. Back to the action. So the Grano, Harmon, and Elia are in. No. I'm willing to put it all in one hand. Three right players. Here. Yeah, as long as you have aces. It's a three player flop. We got a queen of clubs, seven of hearts, king of hearts. Check. And Agrano's luck continues as he pairs his king. Elia pairs his seven. The table checks around to the turn card, which is a six of clubs. Alay makes two pair. But Negrano's on a flush draw. Alaya leads with $3,500. Actions Negrano. That was raised. 12,000. 12,000 straight. Dang on the ground who raises the 12,000 now. Over to Harmon who needs a 10 for a straight. Yeah. She's like, yeah. He's going. Harmon falls. And it's another 6,500 bucks for the young pro ally to call. Now he's going to call for sure. He's got two pair. He's just thinking about what to do here. Tough decision. Any two pair beats him. But. He must feel he probably has the best hand right now. Yeah, but he just calls that uh, Negrano's million must be intimidating. So we'll head to the river. And the river cards, another queen, queen of spades. That's a terrible card for both of them, particularly Daniel Elahi. He checks. All he has now are queens and sevens with a king kicker. But <laughs> well, Daniel Negrano didn't like that queen either. Hey, I, I could have the best. I checked. Check, check. Well, it's a check, check, and thanks to the queen on the river, Daniel Legrano will take it down another pot. Everything is working for Daniel today. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets his refund check from the IRS today. Also. <laughs> Having a million dollars on the table Thank plus you. a little bit of luck, that's a scary combination. And it's got to be scary for the folks around the table to watch Negrano stack it bigger and bigger. Can anyone stop this guy? Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, and the Golden Nugget. AJ Benza here with Gabe Kaplan. We're back at High Stakes Poker. The action so far has been fantastic. And Gabe, I tell you, Daniel Negreanu is just dominating the table. When he bluffs, everybody goes out. When they have a good hand before the flop, he's got a better hand. When he's got the worst hand on the turn, he winds up drawing out on the river. Right. Everything's working for him. Yeah. He is in the zone. 
Well, let's see if it lasts as we head back out. Because when I get like knocked Jennifer. out of a tournament, I'm really calm and yeah. cool. Yeah, you know, she I just said, walk no, away. You, you get upset when you get knocked out. Yeah. I'm real calm and cool. <laughs> yeah, I get upset by just not saying Is that a race? <laughs> Look at Jennifer. She just walked calmly out of the room. She almost killed. She only kicked over three garbage cans. She almost kill, killed two guys who were six foot two. Daniel and Barry know how Jennifer really acts when she gets knocked out of a tournament. <laughs> right now, Alahi's raised the twenty two hundred dollars with the King Queen offsuit. Now that she plays tournaments, she understands me not wanting to, to talk for a few hours is a lot less than what other people do, a lot less than she does. The ground and Brunson both called. Now Jennifer Harmon with pocket deuces yeah, from the big blind looks both directions and calls. So we have a party of four heading to the flop. Flop is a king of clubs, queen of spades, six of spades. Alai flops top two pair, and the ground who pairs is queen. You see a graphic. He's a 20 to 1 favorite. Well, you were right. But we've well, seen yeah. Daniel buck those odds before. Alahi's he's uh, going to bet here. He's not going to wait. He bet $6,700. The pressure's now on the ground. 6700 when I'm thinking about a situation or thinking about a decision, I'm just thinking about the possible hands that my opponent can have, what I put them on, but it's so hard to do. Because again, if they show you that bluff, you're like, oh man, you'll never sleep. <laughs> and if they don't show you, you never sleep either. It's a real stretch for Daniel to make this call with his hand. Even though he has been running hot, I can't see him making this call. Yeah. I, this is, I think it's a bad fold right there. But. Brunson and Harmon follow his lead and fall, giving Alayi the hand and a pot of more than $16,000. Daniel covered himself for TV in case it was a bluff, but it wasn't Daniel. You made the right decision, and you can sleep well tonight. But the way things are going, he probably would have drawn out. This is the church. I don't think he wanted to push his luck with that <laughs> hand, AJ. Yeah. Here we go with Jerry Buss. He folds King-10 under the gun. I think that's the right play. We haven't heard too much from Doyle. He's got a lot of nicknames, you know, Texas Dolly. I like the Big Papa. Well, Big and Papa raises the price to play to $2,500. Well, raise it. Looking pretty I'm good. <laughs> Actions to Alahi with an 8 6 suited. He'll call from the small blind. Nasiri bows out from the big blind. And Daniel Alahi is hoping to see some hearts, but that'll be the worst thing for him if that would happen. Well, let's see what we got. Flop has the four of clubs, four of hearts, nine of clubs, so Brunson flops top pair. Check. Doyle's going to slow play his pair of nines here. And it's an eight of clubs. Well, that gives Alahi two pair also. He might want to bet here. He might think that this is the best hand right now. <laughs> and he does. Alahi bets $4,500. $4,500. Doyle quickly calls. He's a little scared of those clubs out there. Wants to make sure another one doesn't come off. Let's go to the river. Seven of spades on the river. Check. Alai checks to Brunson. And Brunson makes an aggressive play by betting $12,000. The old pro now knows he has the best hand and he's trying to get paid off by Daniel Alahi. Now what Daniel Alahi is thinking about is, is it possible Dawes bluffing? Could he have raised it up initially with an ace king, with an ace of clubs or king of clubs? And is he bluffing now? Is Daniel Alahi's pair of eights good? Well, you, got, you see Alahi mulling it over and Brunson strikes that familiar pose, the one that's won in millions of dollars. Alahi folds. What happened there was a big, uh, the big papa made a great bet, and the young pro made a great lay down. Good play all the way around. Up to now, the two players that have bought in with the most money are controlling the table. Sometimes big money can run scared, but not tonight, AJ. Harmon with the queen, 10 off suit. She limps in with $600. Now, Daniel Alahi's got a four deuce of diamonds. He's going to be a little tricky here and raise to 3,000. Over to Dr. Nasseri. The whole card cam shows pocket aces. 
Now that's the cure for tricky plays. <laughs> now he's thinking about what to do. Now, I'll tell you something, AJ, from his demeanor. Now, I know he has aces, and it's easy for me to talk, but all the other players are picking up on this. He looks like he has a big hand. Well, here he goes. He looks to re-raise, and he makes it $10,000 to go. Re-raise, he made it $10,000. And Jerry Buss and Jennifer Harmon both decide to save their money. Actions to Alahi, who needs to put in another $7,000 to call here. Now, what Daniel Alahi is thinking about is Dr. Nasiri is an amateur. Can he outplay him after the flop? Is he good enough to figure out what the doctor has and then take this pot away? Well, the young pro calls. The pot's now over $21,000 as we head to the flop. The flop comes Queen of Spades, Five of Diamonds, and King of Hearts. Alahi has completely missed the flop. And surprisingly, the doctor checks. Yeah. Let's see if Alahi's going to try and take it away right here. It won't work, but he checks. Then we'll go to the turn. For a three of hearts, which gives Alahi an open end straight draw. Doc checks again. Really slow playing his aces. Well, he's willing to take the risk. Now it's up to Alahi. He bets $12,000 back in this area. Well, he has something legitimate. He has that open end straight draw, right. so he's going to do what he started out to do in the first place. Pick up the hand. Well, the series now come out of the bushes. It's going to cost a lot. He another forty thousand dollars if he wants to see the river card. The doctor is taking a big chance with this hand. It worked. He does have the best hand, and he's going to probably win it here. But if Daniel Alahi had kings and queens, or a, a set of threes, a set of fives. Daniel Alahi would win a lot of money from the doctor. Well, this pot is ballooned to $85,400, and this isn't fake money, folks. It's their own money. Now, the way Daniel Alahi pushed those chips away, I think he's contemplating doing something here. He might go all in, raise, make it a $200,000 bet. Yeah. Now, if he did that with any other player at the table, and any other player had Dr. Nasiri's hand aces, they would throw it away. Aces cannot fade that board. But Dr. Nasiri, being an amateur, would probably call because amateurs tend to overplay aces. Right. Is he going to do it? Uh, no. No, Elias throws away the hand, and Dr. Amir Nasiri takes down a pot worth over $85,000. Nice <laughs> The doctor shows a little compassion at the high stakes poker table. It's high stakes poker with real cash from the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Those people in the background, AJ, are called sweaters. They're here with one of the players, could be friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, and very interested in how each player does. Yes, I'm sweating the middle barmaid. Uh, the uh, things you're hitting up at the table, Gabe. Uh, actions to Ted Forrest with the He's queen the five suited. He'll call. <laughs> Action falls to Nasiri with a king-queen suited. That is your chance. What are you doing there? I sat too long and you didn't come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're coming with the speech. How much is that, sir? $3,500. Not enough. Just the regular one. Throw you a dimple on a million-dollar stack. The ground you fall is not wanting to lose any of those dimples. Action to Forrest. He makes a kind of loose call here with a queen five of spades. Here's the flop. We've got a nine of diamonds, three of diamonds, seven of hearts. And the series king still leads. The check check to the turn. The four gives Forrest a gut shot straight draw. And the series will fire in $6,000 in the pot with nothing. A good bet. 
That's a good bet. He's going to take this pot. Showed some speed there. Danny, where were you this hand? Yeah. What, did you have aces? No. No. What was the flop, anyway? me? I had a pair. I would have flopped me a aces? purr. Aces? I would have had me a purr. Aces? Where you come from? I've never seen aces in my life. Except for the last hand. As play continues, Gabe, Dr. Amir Nasiri seems to be on a pretty good winning streak. <laughs> well, it's poker, AJ. Anybody can win in poker, plus he does have some playing skills, and uh, plus he's talking to the Iranian Secret Service on his <laughs> earphones. Action's on Dr. Nasiri now with pocket fives. And he's going to raise you $2,500. Well, his nemesis, Daniel Negreanu, has a jack-10 suited and calls. Danny, there we go. Now we can finally lock it. I thought you would light it up. Now you got me, you got too. Hey, Forrest joins the party with pocket deuces. So it'll be three players to the flop. Three players. Flop comes four of hearts. Deuce of clubs, five of diamonds. Nasseri and Forrest both flop sets. This is the situation you dread as a Hold'em player. Oh, look at this. Negrano with just Jack High throws $6,000 into the pot. He's lit the fuse, and there's going to be fireworks. Welcome back. We're back in Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget for the ultimate in high-stakes poker action. It's a three-way showdown. Daniel Negrano is forcing the action with a $6,000 bet on just Jack High. Ted Forrest and Amir Nasiri both flop sets. And Forrest calls. All right. Oh. Right. Danny. <laughs> you play that junk, you got to be rewarded for it. You raise? Yeah. He makes it 6,000 more. That's not my usual raise. Nasiri matches the $6,000. But he doesn't seem sure what he's going to raise here, Gabe. This is kind of unusual. You were serious about the raise, right? Yeah. Okay. Share it with the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen thousand more. Fourteen thousand more. No thanks. A $14,000 raise chases Negrano from the hand. Now actions to Ted Forrest. How fast did you leave? I was bluffing. Ted Forrest loves his hand. Let's see what he's going to do. He's not slow playing anymore. He's taking a long time to decide his raise also. Ted Foss raises another 16000 into the pot. It's now over $70,000. We have a situation here, AJ, where both players are sure they have the best hand. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of acting going on. Now, Ted Forrest might be wondering right now, he said, what, what does this guy have? Now, if Dr. Nasiri knew Ted had as strong a hand as he does, he'd put all his chips in and he could save his performance. Right. Look how he took the chip off, like he's yeah. almost going to throw his hand away. I'm on it. 
Uh, Doctor, Amir Nasseri moves all in. Uh, I'm gonna have to call you. Wow. Yeah, Ted Farr says you're gonna save the performance, so I'm gonna have to call you. No, you're not. They are. You got a set? I'm dead. I got a set, too. Wow. You need a miracle. Attaboy. <coughs> Listen to him. The turn card, an ace. Three. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> River cards are nine. And Asari wins the hand, taking down over $200,000. That buys you a first class ticket, by the way, to Dubai. Yeah, yeah. you've got me covered. Okay. Now look at Ted Forrest's body language. He's just lost over $100,000, and look how calmly he's taken it. In fact, he just brought out two $25,000 chips. He's going to rebuy in for $50,000. This area wins again, and the doctor has a poker tip that might help your game. When you go to a poker game, you always want to be ready uh, to beat the other guy at the game. You don't want to give them an advantage. You want to look them in the eye and tell them, I'm just like you, but better than you. Uh, you don't want to dress up like a tourist. You don't want to dress up like a successful business person who is ready to lose. You want to dress up like a mean-looking poker player that you should dress up like. You want to be comfortable because you might play for hours and hours and hours. So you don't want to be in a suit and a tie. And uh, you want to look sharp, but you want to be comfortable with what you're doing. This is what I do um, when I want to get ready for a poker game. This is my outfit when I go to work as a doctor. And immediately in this room, I can transform myself into a poker player. I can have one of these hats on, put my sunglasses, accessorize myself with different jewelry and rosary beads, put my jeans on, my jacket, and there we go, off to the poker games. And you know, I hear four to five gynecologists recommend dressing up for a big game helps you win. Well, dressing up helps. Accessorizing yourself properly helps. It also helps the flop set over set. Uh, actions to Barry Greenstein, who's caught himself a pretty good starting hand. Pocket aces. And now look how casual Barry is about it compared to how Amir was when he had the aces. I would have usually called you Mary, but you want my wife five. told me not to bother you at all. Too bad for Barry, everybody casually threw their hand away. <laughs> There's more high stakes poker coming up. It's high stakes poker with real money at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. I'm AJ Benz alongside co-host and poker aficionado Gabe Kaplan for the first time ever televised high stakes cash game. We've got world class players battling it out using their own money. Actions on Daniel Legrano with pocket deuces. Let's put $2,400. Daniel Legrano, who's been a little quiet lately, is going to try and jumpstart things again. He's put in $2,400 with his deuces. Mr. Limestraddle. Action to Ted Forrest. He calls. Wouldn't miss it for the world. one guy who listens. Jerry's coming with us, though. No? Okay. Me in the best hand. Probably so. <laughs> well, everyone else is out. Ace Jack suited with battle pocket deuces to the flop. King of clubs, three of hearts, king of diamonds. The Grano's deuces still lead. Check. They check to the turn. A jack. You don't have king check three anymore. Ted Forrest checked his jacks. That's surprising. Rivers a ten. Ted Forrest still has way the best hand. Got a bet here. Very sportsmanlike. Ted Forrest shows Daniel what he had. Yeah. And Daniel tells the truth about what he had. So Ted Forrest takes down $11,000. He wins back a little bit of the money he lost earlier. And Daniel Legrano's earlier card play continues to cool down. As play moves on, Ted Forrest finds a king-queen offsuit, and he calls. Number one sunglass guy is out. Number two sunglass guy doesn't have his sunglasses. 
Magrano's not afraid to gamble as he calls with 9-5 suited. I want to warn y'all, I've got a name hand. Yeah, the hand he has is called the computer hand, Queen-7. Jennifer Harmon has a big blind, she's in. Well, it's four to the flop. Deuce of clubs, five of clubs, ten of diamonds. The ground and Harmon both flop pairs here. The table checks around to the ground who's in the lead and bets twelve hundred dollars. Doyle logs off. Harmon calls with deuces. And Forrest decides to gamble here with a king high. Being stuck over hundred thousand dollars will make you gamble. The turn cards of Jack of Clubs giving Forrest a straight and flush draws. Harmon checks. Forrest checks. And the Granville fires again. $3,000. Harmon seen enough. Forrest calls. The river cards are King of Hearts. And Forrest takes the lead with a pair of kings and checks. Actually, Daniel played the hand great. He bet twice when he had the best Thanks. hand. When Ted Forrest caught the king on the river, he just checked it down. And Thank Forrest you, wins another hand. Thank you, Amir. Gabe, that was just a taste of our high-stakes poker. Unlike a tournament, cash games are a marathon. They can go until you drop or someone breaks you. And the way uh, Daniel Negrano was playing, oh, that yeah. could very well happen. <laughs> uh, how about the amateur? Amir Nasiri taking almost $100,000 from the consummate pro, Ted Forrest. That was good stuff. And it's just another night at the table on High Stakes Poker. Today's big winner was amateur Amir Nasiri, the Las Vegas gynecologist who takes away over $130,000, more than 80000 of it from the pocket of Ted Forrest. Ted ends up losing his original buy-in of $100,000, but as long as you have deep pockets, you're never out in this cash game. And so Forrest digs in for $50,000 more. And he's starting to rally. But will he continue his comeback? Or will kid poker Daniel Negrano get in his way? Negrano dominates the table tonight with his million dollar stack. Stealing pots, bluffing, drawing out. With a good run of luck, a combination seldom seen at a table like this. Where the action heats up and pots spill over to hundreds of thousands of dollars on the next episode of High Stakes Poker. For Gabe Kaplan and AJ Benza, we'll see you next time. <laughs>